hello everyone so today we are going to create a custom c++ actor that can create a dynamic texture and update the data update pixel data in that texture so here we have this dynamic texture variable nothing is there if i click here you see a texture is created but it does not have any valid information it's just garbage value what you see here and if i press this one which calls uh, function called update dynamic texture it's populating the texture with the checkerboard pattern so this is generated uh, this texture is created through the code so, uh, so today we are going to work on how to do that so the reason that i wanted to do this is here in our c++ seri uh, strategy series we worked on this map for the game and now i wanted a way to uh, paint over this map to show areas where the characters from different factions are in in their color and also the buildings in this map just like in edge of MBS. so for that i wanted to create a texture and paint in the factions colors for each of these characters and buildings with the respective colors of their factions so that's why i wanted to study this part so yeah that's why we are going to do this today and before we get started let me remind you that uh, there are over 2000 videos in my channel and for each video project files are available for download here in the patron page so i'll leave links to everything in description below and now let's get started with today's episode okay so let's create a new c++ project because we are going to use c++ for this i'll name it create dynamic texture and hit create okay so here is the c++ project in visual studio it's a startup project and it is loading okay now here is the project so so all i need is some custom actor created with c++ to create a dynamic texture i just want to demonstrate how to do that so let's go to tools and why is it taking too long okay here i'll create a new actor let's call it texture create and create class and now the project is compiling done let's go here reload so here we have texture create a header file and texture create a uh, c++ file so now we would need a couple of uh, variables to define the texture so on the public i'll add a u property like this and so i want to define the width and height so in texture width in 32 texture width and similarly texture height and another u property to hold the texture itself from the type like this so we have three variables texture width height and dynamic texture from the type u texture 2d and i'll add a function u function blueprint oh why is it blueprint callable and category texture okay that's fine and i'll also make it define it as call in editor so i can press i will have a button in the editor uh, panel when i select this actor 
to call this function so i'll call it yeah create dynamic texture okay that's fine and let's create the definition of this function here so well we get uh, a pretty complicated suggestion but i just need to initialize that create texture here so dynamic texture equals yeah you texture 2d create transient with this high width and height that we already have okay so this should work and as the next step dynamic texture um mip gen settings i don't need any mip maps for this and texture um filter uh, i'll just leave whatever this is uh, it doesn't really matter for now and the next thing would be compression settings okay uh, i don't need update resource sir gp okay and finally i'll call update resource this should be called fire at the end with all these things defined okay now if i save this and Try to compile, let's see. Uh, while this is compiled, if you're not sure about what these settings are, those are just settings that you see. Oh, it is com compilation successful. But let me finish what I was going to say. Just let me find some texture. These settings that you see on the right side. Those are the things that we just defined here through the code. Okay. Uh, compilation successful. And here under C, we have this texture creator. But if I drag and drop it here, yeah, see, texture creator. Now we have this button, and under dynamic texture, we don't have anything. So if I hit create dynamic texture now you see a texture is created we can open it too but we have some garbage values for the texture because we didn't put any values it's just whatever that was there in the in the memory so just garbage values all right now let's see how to put some pattern into this texture so let's add a new function here with these same settings uh i'll call it void update dynamic texture we don't really need a definition here and now let's create declaration why is it coming up here okay create maybe it's a bug the function definition should be created here okay let's do that manually white a texture creator or update dynamic texture so let's go step by step uh, so here first thing we need to check is if we have a valid dynamic texture otherwise we will run into errors if we try to initialize it so if dynamic texture if we have a valid if we don't have a dynam valid dynamic texture we should return and also we will show some message you log okay so let's 
this dynamic texture is not created okay this is good so if we do have a valid texture then we can actually um, put some color data so first thing is we need to create a create an array to hold the color data that we need to write so row data for the texture well yeah so for that we need a color array f color array so t array f color pixels i'll call it pixel data and here so here to make sure that we have enough space for this array because we want this to have the same size same number of pixels as in the texture that we have defined so pixel data set num so let's use this set num uninitialized we don't need to initialize this yeah and by multiplying width and height we get the number of pixels that we would have in the dynamic texture and here i'm planning to fill pixel data with okay simple gradient also would work let's see what it suggests all right should be fine so basically we are defining a simple gradient here in the pixel data I don't want to spend time on explaining the code it should be pretty much it should be simple enough and yeah now the next thing is we need to lock the texture in order to write this this data into the texture but wait a second that's not the next step first let's that should happen in a render command so first we need to get uh, the texture resource so f texture 2d resource texture resource we don't need to do this we can just do this yeah get resource okay and i think we need to include the header file for this let me find out what that is it's this one and the module is empty that's already there okay okay so the next step is writing this data into the texture through a, a render command we can do it like this nq render command the update dynamic texture command let me delete this just this part all right this is the part so so here actually the locking happens at this stage yeah so we have this map index zero test stride and update texture regions these are the parameters that we need to pass in here to write this uh, data that we have defined here in the pixel data and we copy pixel data into texture data structure that we have created here and then after everything is copied we unlock the texture so that's what's happening here but in order to work this i think we would need some additional modules but here let me attempt to compile so we will see errors first Right. see so these errors happen because we need to include 
modules that contains these uh, functions, these libraries. So if I produce it, these are in RHI. Actually, I know it's not just RHI. We need two things, two modules to include here. In our build.cs file under private dependency, RHI and render call. Include them and try to compile again. All right, compilation successful. Now here, uh, select it again. Yeah. Now we have create dynamic texture and update dynamic texture. So if I create it, we have this with the garbage values. And if I update it, now we should get something yeah, here. Now we have some values. So this is the gradient we just defined here for this code. So cool, I guess. Actually, I, I expected only one gradient, but it's it's just the generated code, so I just didn't. It's fine. So in this part, in this area, if you want something else, let's say a checkers pattern or whatever you need, you can update it here. Actually, I have a code to create a checkerboard pattern. So let me paste that and compile again. And create dynamic texture, update dynamic texture. Yeah, see? Now we go to checkerboard pattern. So cool, that's all I want to do in this episode. And thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page. And this will be used in our C uh, real time strategy game series to create a dynamic texture that shows the area that is populated by different kinds of faction different factions uh, to show that in our map so that's why i wanted to originally study this part so yeah thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye